Hello everyone and welcome back to the how to build the Arc de Triomphe in gothic steampunk style. This is part 2, as you can see this is just the building surrounding it and we will be basically zooming in onto our building. This building will be looking at developing the arch that will go within the frame. And then we can then work on how the facades of the building will look at. As you can tell, this is just the main facade walkway that walks up. This high street leads straight to the Arc de Triomphe. You can see the frame is what we left it as last time. We've done these sort of archways, these walkways and highlights all the way around. It seems to be getting there, but you can see it's missing that archway in the middle. So let's get cracking. As you can tell, I'm just scaffolding up. Scaffolding is a great tool for high builds, and I love doing this. Just placing the scaffolding, creating a floor. This floor plinth then basically stops me from falling down. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just counting, counting the width and the height, and then I got myself a sort of a semicircle that I was building. This would give me an idea of what it would look like within the center point. As you can tell, I'm just testing on the other side. I was testing how high I wanted to do it. I wanted to work out exactly if it was the correct proportions within this frame. And you can see that I've tried to do the other side. This is kind of like trying to get a gist of the width, the size, and then using the color block palette to work out what it looks like. On the left, you could see we did it two blocks within, but it didn't seem to have that emphasis. So the right hand side, we've made it three in between and we've used polished blackstone stairs with calcite in between. This is a block palette that I really enjoy because it uses, it uses the black element, the gray element, and the white element. These three elements go really well together because they shade really well. As you can see that we've done the two archways on the far left and the far right and now we're doing the inner archway which is a slightly bigger version. We'll bop around, listen to a little bit of chill music as we watch we work. And now we're building the inner bits. You can see that we started off with calcite. This will be the inner design, which is the Arc de Triomphe. And it uses this sort of detail element with a recessed point. So I thought what would be nice is using calcite and wool and then contrasting that with the polished blackstone. As you can see, I've been playing around with using the full block and some half slabs. This gives it a little bit more depth. And then we try and mirror on the left hand side. But you can see this looks really nice. It's a nice effect and using that white with the dark so it look really contrasting from on the ground level. As you can see, we made a mistake here, and that's what happens in survival. You build something, think, what's going on here? And then you have to replace it and fix it. But look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. You can see the different contrasting elements. You've got the black stone, you've got the deep state, and you've got the calcite. These white elements in contrast with the grey and these black elements. Just make things pop, don't you think? Just can't wait to see it finished. But that's a long way to go. <laughs> if you do want to check me out, I am on Twitch. Um, my name's uh, twitch.tv forward slash tadsjazz, and you can see the progress there live and even make me jump. Yes, you can see I worked up the front elevation just up here on the left, 
As you can see, I've used those sort of similar elements. We've got calcite, white wool, deep slate, and blackstone, using these in different forms to try and give it a little bit more depth. This is kind of the start of the build. Hope you guys enjoyed the process and how far we've progressed. As you can tell, uh, there's a lot to come, but this is a long process that takes some time to do in hardcore survival. So, hope to see you guys next time. If you guys did like the video, feel free to like and add any comments below. I appreciate your peeps and have a great and wonderful day.